when I was eight, I, um, my brother had the opportunity to join a brass band. And being the busy people that my parents were, I sat in on rehearsal, doing my homework while my brother was rehearsing. On one of the sessions, the conductor came up to me and gave me some drumsticks and said, do you want to play timpani? And obviously, eight-year-old me, I did not want to do my homework. So it was an absolute no-brainer that I'd joined the brass band. At a similar time, I really wanted to go to this after-school club. I really wanted to go, but my parents couldn't get me there. One of my friends was a part of the Taiko groups within the North East Lincolnshire Music Service. Um, and that was the only way that I could get to this after school club if it's, I also went to Taiko. It's the best decision I have ever made. And that was the start of me taking part of, in stuff in the North East Lincolnshire Music Hub. It also was the start of me building my schedule, which I don't know how happy my parents were. For those of you who don't know, taiko is a traditional form of Japanese drumming that has been part of Japanese culture for centuries. It is extremely important to their culture. Um, for me personally, and many other people who learn taiko, we are often taught four principles of taiko, which were coined by PJ Hirabayashi. These are key, which is your energy and how you like promote yourself when you're playing. We have your kata, which is your movement and how your body moves during the music. We also have musical technique and attitude. These are, for me at least, they were vitally important to my learning and my um, improving of taiko. Attitude in particular, for young women, we're often told to be quiet and small and not necessarily make a big noise, make a big energy. Um, and to have those in place, it really, allows us to perform and be empowered and be incredible musicians. Attitude obviously teaches you to respect yourself, to respect the place around you, and it builds a aspect of unity throughout the piece. For me personally, obviously growing up in brass bands and orchestras, I knew that women being a part of major classical music pieces as conductors, as principal violinists, was something that was happening, but it wasn't visible to me. And I think this highlights the need for especially grassroots music services to be able to provide that to young women who want to be conductors, want to be major parts in orchestras, want to be solo classical musicians. Often when we hear about classical music, we think of the, like the greats of classical music, which are Bach, Beethoven, Rachmaninoff. We don't necessarily hear about the Clara Schumann or the Amy Beach or the Barbara Strozzi. And that, to me, is something that I think is changing. We need to hear about these women who are composers, conductors, performers that really inspire and allow young women to have that visibility. Within Taiko, however, that kind of thing isn't necessarily as um, prevalent. We write our own pieces, we work as a whole unit rather than as a solo, and the group aspect is vastly important. We do have, we have solos within pieces, but it is a whole group performance. Um, and the idea to me that that was possible was incredible. I loved it. To be able to perform as a group, especially as a young woman, to be loud on stage, to be big on stage, to promote myself in a way that wasn't necessarily how society wanted me to promote myself, was something that every young woman, every young person, but especially every young woman, should have that access to. As I mentioned earlier, I was talking about the four principles of Taiko. We have key, we have kata, we have energy and attitude, and we have musical technique. For me personally, attitude and, and musical technique are vastly important, but I find kata and key to be so important, not just to Taiko, but to my life as a whole and to how I present myself. Key, obviously, energy, kata is your movement. As young women, as I mentioned, we are often told to be small and quiet and not make ourselves as big and as boastful and as inc like incredibly loud as possible. But with the kata, it gives us that opportunity to, with it's as part of the music, to be big and to use movement to further our, our music. 
and it is often that we do big movements within quiet spaces, within spaces of st like that would have been stillness. But by adding that movement, it is it makes it a more rounded, more controlled piece. Um, and obviously, for a shy young woman starting Taiko, that might not be what they want to do. They might not want to make themselves big. They might not want to make themselves known or loud. But that opportunity for me especially was what has kept me in Taiko for 10 years. I was always told that I was too chatty, I was too loud, I was too bossy, but to have that flipped and for it to be, you need to be more bossy, you need to be more loud, you need to be more chatty. It was, it was a turning point. It truly made me feel like I was welcome in that space. Obviously, similarly, key your energy. It is, again, so important. Um, to make yourself loud and shout is what young women need to hear. You need to be told, it's all right to be bossy, it's all right to be loud, it's okay for you to make yourself heard. Obviously, society isn't set up for that. We are often told, be quiet, sit still, sit down. That's not what young women should have to be told. We want the same opportunities as the boys. We want to be open and loud and take control. Your key, your energy, is what presents the piece. It makes it, whether it's a festival piece, a slow piece, an energetic piece, a happy piece, it presents that to the audience. And it allows an audience of people who may have never seen Tycho or heard of Tycho before, like emotionally connect with that piece. Obviously, big, loud drums, it's hard to, sometimes hard to emotionally connect with, but through your shouts, through your movement, through your unity as a whole, it, is, it makes the piece similar with Kato, it makes the piece a whole, it makes it a full composition. The idea that, for me, young women don't have these opportunities is something that needs to be changed, it needs to be sorted out. We need to have the opportunity to be loud, to be brash, to be boastful, to be a leader. And you may be wondering why all of this matters, and it might not to you. You might not ever think about young women in music again, but you should. You should think about maybe your niece who can't sit still, who would really be vastly helped by joining Taiko, by having that movement, or your best friend's daughter who can't, is told they're bossy, told they need to be quiet in school, told they can't make their voice heard. Through Taiko, you can have all of those things, and it's similar with young music. However, I know for me personally, without Taiko, there is absolutely no way on earth I would be talking to you or standing on this stage right now. It has truly been one thing that I think everybody, everybody, every young person, every young woman should have access to, whether it be musical, whether it be like just artistic, the opportunity to have the ground grassroots level of nurturing yourself is so, so important. Thank you very much.